Hi guys, welcome back. If you are subscribed, thank you so much. Um, if you are not subscribed, my name is Steph. I talk about my life every day, uh, some, most of the time relating to mental health issues. Um, if that's something that interests you, please subscribe. Um, so it's really crazy. It's really crazy right now. Um, I definitely feel a sense of anxiety and a little bit uh, depression. Um, it's kind of like, it's kind of like that can't look away factor. Like you're like, like with the news and stuff, like I find myself like looking at Google for updates on what's going on and like, why I can't do anything about it. I, all I can do is what I'm already doing, which is, you know, try to stay away from other people. Um, but yeah, I, I feel like it's really easy to get sucked into that. Um, and, and you can't do that. I, I can't do that. Um, so we tried to watch a comedy tonight. Um, <laughs> and then, uh, we didn't download it properly. So, um, that didn't work out. Um, and then my husband went to sleep. Uh, and he's been home working, so that's been different because uh, we don't really have the space. Uh, we have a two bedroom place and I use the other room for my music studio. And so he's at the dining room table, um, which can be challenging because I forget that he's working. <laughs> and I'll be like, hey, and talking to him from the kitchen and I'll be like, I'm in a meeting. So yeah. Um, I'm sure everybody's life has been turned completely upside down. Um, so I, I think what I'm gonna do moving forward, and I think like, I think the best way to cope, I think would be to kind of set guidelines. Like if you're somebody that's like thinking about it too much or, or digging in too much, um, you know, like me with checking Google, like I need to make it a rule for myself to like, you know, you, if you want to look it up, look it up once a day. Don't sit there and look it up 10 times a day. Don't check the news in the evening. Like you're going to know if there's a new law in place that says you, you can't leave your, your place. Um, but yeah, it's scary. I was talking to one of my best friends. Uh, she's in North Carolina and, um, you know, she was talking about how she has friends in California that are just like going out and socializing and um, not really taking it seriously. Um, yesterday when we went out, I did see quite a few people because I had to walk the dogs. Um, I did see quite a few people um, out and about. Um, but today when I walked the dog in the evening, I really didn't see too many people at all. Um, so I think it's starting to sink in and I think fewer people are going out and they closed down a couple of malls and it's just really, it's really scary the, the, all the uncertainty of it. And I think it's really easy to, to let it get you depressed. And, um, I think all you can like focus on is right now. Um, <clears throat> so I, <laughs> so when we couldn't watch the comedy tonight, I was like, um, let me find something funny to watch. So I landed on this Jimmy Kimmel video, um, and another really cool thing that I saw was um, Chris Martin from Coldplay was doing, um, I don't know if you guys caught that, but it was so cool. He was doing like, you know, he spent like a full half an hour like serenading fans on YouTube live. Um, I'm right here. He doesn't want me to pick him up. Um, but yeah, it was Jimmy Kimmel did a, a monologue from home and it was hysterical. <laughs> you guys should definitely check it out. <laughs> it was so funny. Um, but yeah, it really cheered me up. I think that everyone should try to focus on, uh, something positive and humor, uh, find humor. Cause like I said, my life hasn't really changed too much cause I spend a lot of time at home anyways, but it's still really scary um, and depressing. <laughs> so um, yeah, I, I hope you all are doing well and staying positive and talking to your loved ones. Um, that's definitely something that I feel like I need to do more, um, cling to family. Um, so yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow. I have a reminder for
that's a reminder for me to take my medication. But I already took it. So anyways, good night. See you tomorrow.